So I was watching some All-22 film last night, and not the All-22 film you would expect, the college All-22 film, because I was never a content creator when Chase Claypool got drafted by the Steelers, and so nobody ever got to see the All-22 film when he was at Notre Dame, or at least not the big portion of it. So I decided to put it in this video, but that's not the reason why I'm here. The reason why I'm here is because Chase Claypool is getting moved to the slot, and that is a huge deal. Now, the reason why I say this is such a big deal is because he'll finally be able to use his speed and his size to his fullest advantage, whereas when he was on the outside, yeah, he was using his size, but it was kind of just one-dimensional with the 50-50 go ball thing, and it wasn't necessarily consistent. It was kind of just our desperate way of saying we have Big Ben in his final year and absolutely no O-line go long, and let's see if this works out, but Chase Claypool can kind of be used as a tight end, not saying he is a tight end or anything like that but kind of a hybrid if you get what I'm trying to say where he can outrun the bigger linebackers and he can out particular is when Chase Claypool is gonna break out because now he has two more guys on the outside in Calvin Austin and George Pickens that can truly take the top off a of defense and so with the Juju and AB thing it's kind of like that where Juju is just feasting off the fact that they gotta double somebody you know so I'm not even saying that hey that's gonna happen with Chase Claypool maybe that could happen with Calvin Austin maybe that can happen with George Pickens but all I know is that it's gonna create serious trouble I'm just really excited to see this wide receiving core work in general they all came in in the best shape of their lives but let me know what you all think about Chase Claypool moving to the slot hope you all enjoyed this video if you did I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe and that is it for me on this one peace